I didn't do that for the camera. I was just being nice. <laughs> Hello, sewing people of the internet. Uh, in this video, I thought we'd do something a little bit fun. Uh, this is the Mrs. of All Trades, Jenny, and uh, we both sew and have both sewn for years. And Jenny actually got me started sewing on her mom's old sewing machine uh, 10, 12, 15 years ago, something. But we never really actually sew together, and she's never used any of my uh, industrial machine, well, any of my machines, actually. No. Uh, and I've never touched her machine, but that's all about to change. So in this video, we're going to do a sewing machine swap. She's going to use arguably my most difficult machine to use and see how it works for her. And uh, I'm going to use her Plastic Fantastic machine and see how much I hate that. And uh, I thought this might be interesting because a lot of people may want to dabble or you know, move into an industrial machine and wonder how different it is from their standard domestic sewing machine. Jenny's an experienced sewer on a domestic sewing machine, so we'll see how it works for her. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. Got stabbed by the chair. That's definitely Are you going to show me how to work this thing? Well, yeah, actually. <laughs> you want to re-thread it? No, thank you. I mean, we got to put some black thread in it. No, thank you. Really? Okay. All right. I have my tools. All right, black thread. Thank you. So it goes there, and then... You can either tie off to that and pull it through, and I can show you how to do that, or you can just follow through and thread it through it. It's, you, I bet you can figure it out. It's, it's actually probably easier to thread than your machine is. This is a big spool. It's a big spool. Very big spool. I remember the first time I heard Oh, it. shut up. It doesn't smell weird. I thought it was going to smell <laughs> industrial. I've never I think your I think your machine smells yeah your machine smells industrial like metal I'm gonna re-thread this okay by just following it God this takes forever to thread it <laughs> it does why are you ruining my zipper <laughs> uh, you're taking that part off because I have to split the zipper to um, the way we make this pouch to keep it one piece. Yeah. Um, you se separate the zipper, but then I don't want to lose too much of the tape, so I'm trying this as an experiment. Yeah, that didn't work. Well, I have no clue where to proceed from here. I would have been already sewing on my short sewing machine. I would have been already sewing on this one. Uh, so what's with this one? It goes over or under? Because it's stuck either way. Wait, how did you get to there? I didn't. This is my thread. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, you can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. I was I'll following it. I'll never figure out how to do it now. I was following it. All right, what do I do next? So this goes over. Okay. And you have to kind of pull tension to get it down in between the discs. Okay. Comes back under and goes around that post. <laughs> there we go. Did I break it already? No, nope, nope, you're good. Okay, you can put your, you can let the lever go. All right, so now it goes between here and then. Where? It'll hook behind that. Oh, hatch. that's. And then down here? Uh huh. And then down here? Perfect. And then thread the needle. Yep. It does. <laughs> How do you know? See, my machine, you could do it either way. It doesn't matter. What? No, that's not true at all. <laughs> Actually, you just go from front to back that way. There's no... So you feel this groove back here on the needle with yeah, your finger? Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> that it goes... <laughs> Is there oh, a shoot. groove? Don't tell me I screwed something up. No, you didn't, but I don't have uh, black bobbin thread oh. in here. Uh, Maybe I should do blue. I should have left the blue on here. Really? Is that blue? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can show you what it looks like. Wait, I'm doing blue. I'm All right, so blue. you want you want to see me? Oh! 
I could pull it through? Could have, yeah. The way I do it, right now, people on the internet are saying, oh, how are you supposed to do it? See, he's calling you guys idiots. Well, some of you are idiots. Okay, so what you want to do is either lift the uh, foot with the lever or with the knee leather. Because when the foot is up, that disengages the tension discs a little bit. Okay. So it'll make it easier to pass through. So you can just do that, pull that way. Uh -huh. Am I going to break this? Um, so eventually that knot could break. So the, when you get to here, I'll show you my okay. trick. So the tension is still kind of tight on that, no matter how much uh, yeah. we release it. Now pull. Oh. And you have to pull it a little bit. There you go. Oh, wow. And it broke. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. It's okay. Right there. If it doesn't go all the way, it's okay. Yeah, this is a way thicker thread. Since the internet is going to ask its V69 thread, I have no idea what needle size is in the machine. What's this do? Hmm. Wait, this screw isn't tightened. Let me <laughs> tighten it more. Yeah, yeah, tighten all the screws. That's how you, that's how you <laughs> fix anything. Um, so before you start, before I turn this thing on, uh, a couple things that I want you to be aware of. Um, this, the knee lever that raises the foot, go ahead and raise the foot. Yeah. Uh, you might notice that a good portion of your finger will fit underneath that foot. And even if you don't get it under the needle, as that foot is walking and you're sewing, if you get it too close, it will nip your finger. So just be careful because it will hurt. Really? Um, it's not going to do anything seriously damaging, but uh, you know, just it's wow. okay. you will find out this machine is way, way faster than yours and will okay. quickly uh, draw your finger close there. So just give this machine a lot more respect than you might otherwise give to a sewing machine. Okay. <clears throat> now, this machine doesn't have reverse. So for um, doing a back tack, mm -hmm. you just push this button right here. There's another button. What's a back tack? <laughs> Just kidding. So, I don't usually back tack though. Okay, well we will probably do. Not something. often. Yeah. So, what do you use instead? Uh, you just, just push the button that says reverse. There's no button that says reverse. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I'll show you how to do that when we get okay. there. The other thing is, let's get a piece of scrap for you to practice on. Oh yeah, that would be great. Um, so to put it into the foot, as if you want to start it. Oh, beautiful. That was easy. Yeah, whatever you do is fine. I always hold the tails of my thread because this machine is quite powerful and oh. will suck it right back through the eye of the needle and you just have to rethread it. So I always do that when I start. Okay. Um, and I want to see what the stitch length is set at. I think it's okay now, but setting the stitch length on this is a little bit more convoluted. So the on off button is over here if you need to turn the machine off for some reason. That's where you do it. One okay. interesting thing about this this is a clutch motor machine so after I turn it off you can hear that still turning mm -hmm. it still will run if you were to step on the pedal now it will still so okay. so if you turn it off uh, and uh, aren't you don't want to sew anymore don't step on the pedal even after you've turned it off so okay so all you have to do to make it go is just like you would normally with a regular sewing machine step on the pedal um, oh, but I gotta hold these things yeah and I'll Oh crap! <laughs> I was just about to say I would, I would go a little bit gingerly because it's pretty powerful. Uh. How do you back tech? <laughs> <laughs> so on this machine to do a back tech. Oh wait, can I just turn it around that and then is, go? That is actually yes. That is one of the ways you can do that. a little afraid. Um, how do you lift the needle? Uh, oh. Just like it would, yeah. <laughs> and I would let the th uh, presser foot down when you do that because when you when the foot is up there's no tension oh. on the upper thread so it can cause issues. But All right. Maybe do that again but just see how slow you can go. Try to try to see if you can control the speed. Wait. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Hold my thread, I think. Yep. Yep. I got a re-thread. I'm gonna turn this off. 
Good idea. <laughs> no, step on the pedal. Okay. It's just to show you That's that it's scary. still still got life in it even when it's turned off. Did I have to I think say it's raining? Uh, it is. I'm super impressed because so I, I just I just showed her one time how to get the thread in that last thread guide and typically I don't know about you uh, and your spouses but mine never listens to me so I'm pretty impressed that you uh, did that right. I sometimes listen. Uh, I like to start needle down by positioning it with the hand wheel. Okay. It is easier to move if you take a little bit of pressure off of the pedal, but you have to be very careful. I meant to tell you this earlier, but this belt being exposed here, if your finger gets caught behind that belt, oh. it'll probably do some real damage when it comes around. Oh, so wow. try okay. to keep your hands up here. Got it. Anyway, because it's so hard to keep it from getting away from you speed wise, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to use the hand wheel. Okay. How much is this tape? Uh, I don't remember, but it's not like obscenely expensive. This is the this inside. This is the inside. So no! This is the inside. Right, that's okay. Okay. You, you're right, but... Oh, because we're going to sandwich the two. Correct. Yeah. Do you have pins? Oh. <laughs> the whole internet knows I don't like pins. Yeah, so you can, this definitely, uh, or actually, you know what we can do? Let's tape this on. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thank you. Get out of here. No, just kidding. So let's have the that part down. Yeah, so that way. Wait, nope, I was wrong. That way. Because we want yes. the protruding teeth to be to the outside because that's yeah. pretty. And I would, yeah, overhang it a little bit. Yeah, just like that. So basically the edge of the zipper tape should be right at the edge of the sticky tape. Zipper tape but sticky tape? You're going to have to buy me some of that tape now. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good <laughs> idea. Alright, so... Oh, that's nice. That's not very straight, though. <laughs> I'm straighten it. I won't want it to be this no, close, it. though, right? Straighten it, yeah, for because real. Because yeah, otherwise... That's the advantage of the tape, you can make it straight. I won't be able to close the zipper. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. I can cut this? Sure. I love that Done. you ask if you can cut it like as you're applying pressure. <laughs> now that I'm cutting this, is it okay if I All right, it? it's done. Perfect, done. All right. That's a wrap. Okay, Good job. That's a wrap. All, All right, right, now I gotta sew once, twice. Just once is fine, I think. Is there any side you would start on first? This side of this foot is skinnier, so I think that's a better place to you can put oh. the, that edge of that foot against yeah. the zipper okay. and just run straight down it. And I would probably start with the hand wheel before. Oh, like get it, maybe get a couple of stitches. You're okay grabbing it, just just don't like put your fingers behind the uh, <laughs> belt. All right. Is the thing down? Yeah, it is. So very gently apply just a teeny tiny bit of pressure to the treadle and then turn the hand wheel. Don't don't try to make it go. Just take a little bit off the pedal and then use your hand on the hand wheel. This ain't gonna happen. Okay, listen. Your hand has got to be on the hand wheel. Oh! And just very lightly. Well, okay, a little less lightly if it's not doing anything. This is scary. So, so you're basically releasing the clutch so that you can turn the machine without having to spin the motor. Oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And now I get a back stitch or no? Yeah. I really. Really? Yeah, it's a zipper. It's probably a good idea. How do you back stitch? You can't go okay. back. Right? So. so oh, I go back with the no, wheel. No, 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 no. Why not? <laughs> because you I have to knock flip it this out around. Timing. No. Remember a minute ago I showed you? You bring the needle up. 
You go all the way up. Oh shoot, that's right. And, and then foot you... up and then just slide it back a little and then drop another stitch in. And I would do like three or four of those. Needle up. Yeah. You can let go of the other threads now. Then. And then pull it back. Yeah. yeah, just go all the way back to the beginning and just go over the whole thing again. There you go, that's good. And then you'll be stitching over it enough that way. Can I just go now? If you feel comfortable, sure. Try not to run off the zipper. <laughs> sewing close enough. Uh -huh. And so same thing for a back tack here. I Just know what I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> That's good, right? Sure. And I find like moving uh, this a little bit as you pull. So pull and then kind of jiggle this and oh, find yeah. the sweet spot. There's probably a more accurate way to do it than that, but that's what I do. Ooh, this looks nice. How's the It's back? okay. Yeah. City. Lovely. <coughs> Way to go, honey. Shut up. And if, oh. It's okay. If there's a little bit of looseness here, Oh, that's it's okay. okay. Yeah. You're right. You are correct. Perfect would be better, but, you know, who's got time for that? That's right. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get it under the foot? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. If you start hearing that roar, that's probably more than as, as much as you. Yeah, you don't want to put any more pressure on it if you're if you're hand wheeling. Look at you. Okay. And now, Just foot doing. up, foot up. Up, okay. Foot up, not oh. yeah, there you go. <laughs> my foot. No, no, no. And now <laughs> spin this around. But I don't want to go that way. Well, if you just take a couple of stitches and then turn around and go back, then you'll have your back tack that you were trying to do that wasn't working. Okay. <laughs> so that's good there. And now foot up, pivot. There you go. And then you can finish it off however you want. There's That's something about very... where this is in its stroke, is where it's ready to release. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. This doesn't look If so you were nice. married to Alexander Dyer, you would probably know it. That does not look nice. Uh oh, that's all right. I think what happened is the tail got pulled out and got uh, oh. in there, so yeah, just pull it off and cut it off and we'll singe it if we need to. So, the way I intend for us to do this, if you have a different idea, I'm open is we're gonna uh, we need to figure out so I I like for my zippers to close on the left side yeah okay? so that's what we want so we want to have this oriented more or less this way when we sew it closed let's go ahead and put this guy on. doesn't matter where these things are the little crimps that's, that's the stop for the, the closing? closing yeah no, that's the stop when it's open. Oh, okay, smart guy. <laughs> Let's see who who was it that just took the zipper apart. So is it gonna work? It'll be backwards, I think. <laughs> it's not gonna be backwards. It's the, I just cut off the other the zipper. That is. Where's the blue zipper? Okay. Let's, let's that's see. where the close is. All right. I accept your assertion. And I render it incorrect. Oh, is there two sides? To every Does story. Does it have two? That worked? Do you care if I open this one? <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is the first time I've had a moment like this on video, and I'm loving it. Shut up! <laughs> I don't 
don't know how to put this back in here. <laughs> All right. So. That's crooked. It's going to be something like that. <laughs> it's a little crooked, but. I need to. So we can cutter. we can make some adjustments there. Yeah. I don't have a rotary cutter here, but. Um, so. <coughs> But what we're going to do is you're going to sew it inside out, turn it right side out, and then sew another seam to conceal the raw edges. Okay. So do you want to yes. cut this straight? I can use this. Absolutely. Because that side is good. I think that side is fine. Yeah. Do you want... Um, zipper pull tabs here, so nope. you have a little tab home. Okay. And do you just want a handle on this side so that you're holding it? And zip yeah, this side. How big do you want your handle? Wait a minute. No, that's wrong. No. This is. <laughs> I, I prefer it the other way, but if you like it this way, it's your palette. No, because so you I was just it. thinking if I have the handle pull here, okay. like this, and then... What? I'm just trying to keep you from yanking the zipper off. I'm not going to. I was just thinking if I'm carrying this. No, that's that's a really good point. I mean, it, how are It'd you going to carry like it? It'd be better like this. I'm going to carry like this, and I'd rather have the zipper up here in case it slightly opens, then everything won't fall out. Yeah, so like and, this. So you'll carry it in your so right this hand and open it with your left hand. Yeah, I'm going to carry it with my right hand. All right. Beautiful. And are you okay. okay with that kind of, you know, zipper up here? on? Because you can put this anywhere you want. You can put it right in the middle. No, because I, I want to be able to put my cell phone in it. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Perfect. All right, and how long do you want the handle? Um, Sorry, I need to throw that in. Those are big scissors. Yes, they are. Ooh, side though. Wisp W20Ws, in case you're wondering. Which side do I want to use? I would use one of the two. <laughs> All right, so this is the part where I screw up every single time. Okay. So we want it closed to the right side. So believe that's right. Wait, so... Second, second guess me, because when we turn this back right side out... Yeah, and you want it to be on this side, yeah. and then we'll go that. Yeah, this is right. So it wants to be on that side. Okay, yeah. and if you want to have that right here, like, which I think is a good idea yeah. to have it right under the yeah. zipper. Um, so basically what you're going to do is sandwich it in here and going to be open on the outside though. When we turn this out, let me think for nope. a second. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, we want it this way. I'm sorry. This way. I, ah, yeah, yes. Sorry. Okay, good. Okay. So yeah, I was like going to say, I was like, that doesn't sound right. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're okay, right. cool. I would recommend one of two things. Either sew over that several times mm -hmm. or uh, I will allow a slight uh, deviation from what we're doing and throw it on this machine and just throw a whole bunch of back stitches on it real quick and then we can move on if you would prefer not to do it on this machine. No, I'll just do it on this machine. I like your attitude. If if it were me, I'd probably go ahead and sew that a couple times. Oh, And then yes. sew the rest of it so you don't have to spend your whole time trying to get that where you want it. Okay. And then it's you know, it's basted in place, and then you can come back and sew the whole thing. And I'd probably just hand wheel, like... Really? Yeah, the whole way across this wedding. Oh. Just right now, I mean, I would do it maybe with my foot, but, you know, being new and stuff, it might be easier for you. You'd be surprised how fast you can... Do I have to backstitch if I'm just going to go over several times? Uh, you don't want the webbing to pull out, so I'd probably... I would consider backstitch. this securing the webbing in place. So I want to... 
So I would just go, like, I mean, so all the way across the webbing, oh. and then back up, so across it, so across it, like, maybe three times, four times. Okay, but I don't have to backstitch no, right no, no, now. No, 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 yeah, That's sorry. That's Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I That's misunderstood. Okay. So, oh, okay. That's exactly what I was just going to say. And then that's it, probably just this third time? Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid. Good, I want you to be a little bit of a Okay, of a so now... Go to the end, turn around, and then go to the end and turn around? Sure. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, I don't yet yeah, don't run off the edge if you're gonna pivot and turn the needle, but there you go. Oh gosh, that's awful. That's okay. You're not gonna see it. You'll be fine. That's that's good. Okay. Come a little bit more. Don't yeah. Don't step on the pedal anymore. Just a little more. More which way? Rotate the handle towards you a little bit more. Even without the. Yeah yeah yeah. Without yeah. Just to get the needle up higher. The needle's not. Up. See where the see where this bar is. Oh. Do you want that up? It's kind of oh stuck. There you go. Oh, there we go. It's okay. still wrapped around the bobbin case a little bit when it's in that position. So. Okay. That's not bad. Is it? <laughs> I was just thinking if I had that strap too long, I would... <laughs> Just run off the end. Maybe I should have said walk, but what do you think so far? Uh, I like my machine better. So you don't want me to run out and find you a 1940s <laughs> industrial sewing machine? No. Yours looks cool and stuff. I like that it's metal and that seems cool and stuff, but I definitely like my machine better. I've just never used a machine like this. Do you want me to try? Ah, good job. Can I turn around? Yeah. For sure. Here. Thank you. Thank you. I did a good job. Good, you know. Yep. <laughs> well, you showed me how to do a good job. No, you, okay. I'm, I'm really impressed great. with how good you're, you're running the machine. I didn't want to do this again. That's why. Hmm. Wow, that's freaking cool. Damn, this looks professional. I like it. So, now I have to sew down the seams on the inside though, right? So basically all you're going to do is just sew deep enough into this to cover those raw edges. And if you want, you can trim, and if you, if you don't want to do that, tell me now because there's another way we can do it. I don't really like that. Okay. I like the foofy, foofiness, the rounded corners. Binding it is. Do I have to bind it though? Yeah. Oh. I'm not letting this go out of here with raw edges. <laughs> How do you bind it with what?
everything about this machine is the same, except because it has a servo motor, it's a lot easier to control. So it's still probably hang on to it. Uh, never mind, don't worry about it. That's red. <laughs> it's, it's too late now. If it didn't, if it didn't pull out, it's fine. It, it's See, some... I always wondered why they show people doing that. Yeah, it doesn't and that's always. How... My mom taught me, actually, and that's how I see women do on the new plastic machines like I have. And I never do that anymore because it never grabs my thread. And I'm like, maybe I'm supposed to do that? I don't know, but I never do. <clears throat> yeah, I think you can get away with it a lot of the time. But and This is reverse? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I like the reverse. Can I go faster? Yeah, floor it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. It definitely, I like this because it's easier to control the no, speed. Stop for a second. Okay. Wait, with your foot, don't, don't lift the back, yeah, no, don't do, don't, you're, you're putting your foot back and lifting the needle. Just stop and let the needle stay down. So just tap it forward once. Okay. Okay. Now lift the foot with your knee. Now turn the machine. It's already up. That's all right. It's just because of where it is. Just turn, turn the it. machine. Or turn the yeah the work. Sorry, I didn't mean the machine. It's not turning very easily. Why is that? Okay. Okay. Now drop the. Yep. Now sew some more. And what I'm trying to show you is how easily, if you uh, need to make turns, how easily you can stop, lift the foot, and make a turn oh, if you don't keep yes. raising the needle. And it's got a walking reason. foot. Uh, yeah, the machine you've been sewing for the last two hours has a walking foot, too. It does? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Fun? Yeah, I like this machine better than the other one. And it's really, That's I mean, sure. the, the servo motor is 90% of it. Yeah. And then the fact that this has reverse and stitch it. That table's nice, easy. too. That is a gorgeous table that a very awesome artist made. Yep. That wasn't for the camera either. But. <clears throat> <laughs> so there you go. We made a thing. Uh, what do you think? I love it. It's very cool. What did you think about the uh, the beast of the machine? Uh, I like my, my machine better. <laughs> the one with the servo motor is definitely better than that other beast, but the other beast looks cool. So and that was fun overall. Do you feel so. like um, Do you feel like having sewn on your plastic fantastic machine for as many years as you have? Do you felt like it was easier for you to adapt to that machine, or do you think it would have been easier if you came from like an older, like a vintage machine. It would have been easier coming from an old vintage machine, I think. What do you What do you think you miss? Like, if you suddenly had to use this machine forever, what would you miss from your machine that isn't on this? A lot of things. <laughs> I feel like mine's just the press the pedal and go, and that's it. Like, okay. press the pedal and go. How and it's easier to thread, also. I, like, very quickly thread it. I can't pull through a thread to thread it with a different color. However, it's very quick and easy to re-thread. So if at any time, like my bobbin screws up or whatever, or my stitches start going wacky, I just pull it apart, re-thread it really quick. So, yeah. How do you think I'm going to like your machine? I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> All right, so that's your turn on my machine, and I guess next will be me yep. sewing on yep. your machine. Good job. You, you yes. really did a great job. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly Thank impressed you. that you uh, ad adapted to the machine the way you did, and you, you actually had better control over it than I would have expected. I, I kind of had a suspicion going into this that having the kind of control you have with a, a computerized machine that this would have been incredibly frustrating, but I felt like, you know, you pretty quickly figured it out, and even if you didn't love it, you got it done. So. Yeah, I, I figured it out only because I used to drive stick. Hmm. So that kind of, oh, wait, that's right, don't press on the gas like that, or press on the gas pedal, basically. Right, right. Yeah, whereas my machine, I just, <laughs> yeah, and just go. There's no going slow on my machine. I don't need to, so... 
Okay. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, honey. I love right. you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Cut. That was a. Uh,